Let's play the game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we gonna die. Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam a jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Mechromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, suckers! So, you want to hear a story, huh? Come. I'll tell you everything you need to know. On a planet called Pandora, daring warriors called Vault Hunters scoured the borderlands in search of treasure and power. But they weren't the only ones. Handsome Jack, CEO of Hyperion Corporation, wanted the Vault and its secrets for himself. He and his robotic legions held the planet in an iron grip. The leader of the Vault Hunters was a brave man named Roland. He rallied an army of friends and warriors to fight Jack's tyranny. Closest to him was Tina, a young orphan explosives expert. She's a little... Uh, <laughs> look, she's completely banana sandwich, bonkers, crazy! Ah, there was a... There was Brick, who only thinks with his fists. Mordecai, a sniper who lost his beloved Bloodwing at the hands of Jack. Tor, more explosion than men. Ellie, a master mechanic. And finally, Lily, a siren gifted with incredible powers. However, she was not the only siren. Jack's daughter, Angel, used her powers to manipulate and betray the Vault Hunters. Though she turned on her father in the end, the damage was done. Jack was defeated, but at a heavy cost. Roland didn't live to see the victory his friends had earned. Sometimes, a hero's reward is little more than a gunshot to the back at the hands of a coward. The ones Roland left behind still had much to do. But one little girl had some ideas for a story of her own. Once upon a time, the Vault Hunters play the game. The world is on the brink of going boom boom. This is our most desperate hour. Unless we make a stand here and now, we're gonna die. 
Now. Roll for initiative! What's initiative? It says which order we attack in. I punched the initiative. What's going on? I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Tina, why don't you start over? Ahem. <clears throat> Welcome, fine ladies, to your first session of the most coolest game in the world, Bunkers and Badasses! As your Bunker Master, I will be spinning today's tale of fantasy and- Wait, why the hell are we playing this kid's game? Oh, you know, maybe because- Shut the hell up, Morty! Tina? She's right, though. Shut up. While our vault hunting buddies beat the slam jam out of that Hyperion informant downstairs, I thought we could play a game. Now, pick your characters. You got the Necromancer, the Commando, the Siren... Siren. Dibs. My Siren's name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. Tina, why don't we just start now and figure that out later? Come on, girl. You know we gotta wait for Roland before we start. Tina, Roland's... You know Roland's not coming, right? He's not... here anymore. Yeah, he's probably running late or something. We'll just start now. So, like I said... Roll for initiative, sucker! You arrive at the docks of Flame Rock Refuge. This place used to be really nice, until the handsome sorcerer messed everything up. I say we head toward the town to investigate. Flame Rock Refuge, a far cry from- Wait, didn't you just say the sorcerer messed up the town? Why would things be lovely? Uh, whoops. Uh, what I meant to say is, it's eternal night, and you hear spooky music, and the whole area kind of smells like butts and dead people. Um, I smell butts and dead people.
you're attacked by a horde of skellymans. They start shooting at you! You get close to the entrance to Flame Rock Refuge, but suddenly... The handsome sorcerer's pet dragon appears! Surprise attack! Oh, oh I want to smack it. You try to attack the dragon, but your attacks do nothing! The dragon attacks and... Hey, are we done now? Tina, uh, you can't start your campaign with a boss fight. Players can't win. Mmm, touche. Okay, everybody back up! I wanted to kill something. 
Okay, how about a new boss? He's a skeleton. And his name is... Mr. Bony Pants Guy? Get out of here! Mr. Bony Pants Guy! Get out! Does that work? Yes, please. Road to Flame Rock Refuge is open. You should go there. Go, go, go. What's your name, Sexy?
You've entered the town of Flame Rock Refuge. In the distance, you see the town's scouting blimps, always alert in case of battles and stuff. What you gonna do now? Stop playing this game. Let's talk to some town folk. <laughs> A grand idea. See the sun again! Sounds like we should go find this Eleanor. Bodyguard isn't here. Oh, whoops. Forgot to put her piece on the board. Blam! Girl looks like she got a problem. I punch her problems. I talk to her. In character, of course. <clears throat> Hello, lovely lady. What is wrong? The queen is missing. She went to the forest to bring the light back to the world. So where'd she go? She said something about using the tree alive to undo the curse. That must be where she's going. And so your purpose became clear. You gotta go to the forest and help the queen. Thank <laughs> you. 